All right, let's head right into Nevis. The English port of Nevis, population 6400, is bustling with activity. Food is often plentiful here. Let's talk to the governor. My dear Mr. Garchompers, please come in. You may be interested to know that we are at war with the evil Spanish. I am pleased to offer you a letter of Marquet, which authorizes you to plunder and sink the ships of our enemies. As this map will show, the nearest enemy city is the Spanish city of San Juan, which lies a long distance to the west. Alright, we'll check that out eventually. I'm about to send the brig Reliant to blockade San Juan. Perhaps you would like to tag along and pluck a few Spanish prizes. Good day, Mr. Garchompers. Alright. I'm gonna get some crew here, and keep an eye on this guy. He just is absolutely depressed every time we take his friends away from him. 33 men offer to join our crew. Alright. He's just so sad. Droops his shoulders and everything. A mysterious traveler offers to sell you cocaine. He says it'll be free this time, but you'll have to pay for it next time. Yeah, we're, we're gonna want that. Cam Beach is a poor Spanish stronghold. The town has a population of 2,600 farmers. The town garrison consists of 300 soldiers. Sugar often fetches a good price here. The shipwright can supply triple hammocks. Alright. 300 soldiers is pretty big. We need quite a large force to be able to take over that town. Which, I love that you can take over towns in this game. The uh, combat system is really, really nice. It's rumored that the Creole bound for St. Kitts is carrying over 1,000 in gold. I believe she's a French merchantman. The barmaid whispers. Alright. Ooh, that is right on top of us. Absolutely, we are going Creole. Alright, we'll remember that. French merchantman. Alright, so what of it, barmaid? Barman? Seen any beautiful daughters? Oh. Ooh, this governor's daughter is a real beauty. Okay, well, right after we do some impressive stuff, we'll head right back here and we might get to dance with her. All right. Oh, man. The only people that the English are at war with is the French. Hmm. And then, in that case, uh... We should just head right over. Alright. Ooh, 36 men. We'll take them and ruin this guy's day. Alright. Yeah, we can get some more cocaine, but unfortunately we can't afford it right now. It's rumored that the La Sebre of Fame, Belfast San Juan, is carrying over 1,000 in gold. I believe she's a French sloop. The barmaid whispers. Alright, what does this bartender know? The shipwright in Nevis can upgrade your ship with fine green powder if you like. Your ship will fire farther. Well, that's pretty good. Check our status. We've got a skill at navigation. We are 18 years old. Excellent health. And our crew of 75 is very happy. Let's go ahead and talk to the governor. My dear Mr. Garchompers, please come in. As you know, we are at war with the evil Spanish. Good day, Mr. Garchompers. I like the skill at navigation. We're moving pretty speedy right now. Let's go sink ourselves some Spanish ships. Oh, look at that. I don't want to get hit. Oh, the jukes. Aha. Get the rapier. I always really like the design of the uh, Spanish swordsman captain. Got a big green feather on his helmet. Very fancy. 
Hope he can swim. One of the Spanish crewmen is a skilled surgeon, all right, who can heal wounded crewmen. He is quickly persuaded to join our crew. All right, well, that's great. We got uh, one of our skilled guys right off the bat. There's a... Uh, there you can get a cook, a surgeon, quartermaster. I'm not sure what the other ones are, but they're really good to have. And I like the look of all this gold on here. Woo! 1,072 gold and 24 luxuries. We'll go ahead and keep that ship. We can sell it. And then we'll pick off one more of the Spanish. And then, uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. And then we'll head back and get a promotion. That is some music right there. Oh, I think we're gonna get hit. Yep, we got us. That's okay, it was just one. That was just eight. Get our rapier. Ooh, look at this guy. He's got some red feathers. He has two feathers on his helmet. I really like the attention to detail. That was always one of my favorite animations, whenever they catch on fire and jump off the ship. Your courage has impressed the enemy. An eagle group of seven sailors volunteer to join your crew of 72. Well, absolutely. We can take everybody we can get. All right. I like we're getting all these um, high-valued ships. Got a lot of stuff on here. Bunch of luxuries to sell now. Let's go ahead and go back and get our promotion. Let's see how good this skillet navigation works against the wind. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, I say that now. Moving pretty slow now. But it's definitely better than if we didn't get navigation. I've done playthroughs with uh, each of them. Um, Wind and Charm is pretty good. You don't have to dance as well. And also, you get married faster, which is good. But you, get, you have all the time in the world to get married on this game. Let's head to Nevis. Talk to that... Beautiful daughter of his. We'll probably get rid of uh, one or two of these ships. But, ah, who cares sailing through a storm. Gonna sell the ships anyways. Alright, let's talk to the governor. My dear Mr. Garchompers, please come in. As you know, we're at war with the evil Spanish, and I understand that you recently captured a Spanish brigantine, and you captured a Spanish sloop. Excellent. The king will be pleased. Soon you'll be promoted to captain. Well, I should already be a captain, but okay. That, that's, that's cool. A mysterious traveler offers to sell you a shrunken head. Alright, um... I don't think that's worth 2,000 gold pieces. I mean, I could just cut off somebody's head and put it in a pickle jar and we could right have over. effectively the same thing. We'll go ahead and grab his friends here. <laughs> it's rumored that there's a skilled cougar on board the Little Lion. I believe she's a French sloop bound for Trinidad. Alright. Well... You know, I don't really want to make the French upset. I, uh, I want to build good relations with all of the different nationalities eventually. And uh, what would be best for us to do now is just make the Spanish mad and make everybody else happy. Because everybody's at war with the Spanish. Yeah, I've heard about the governor's daughter. I would have liked to dance with her, but I, I don't have my fancy shoulder pads yet. So, she hasn't noticed me yet. While we're here, we'll go ahead and sell a ship or two. Now we can go ahead and sell this one. Oh, five tons of cargo. Let's go ahead and uh, sell all these luxuries we got. Alright. And now we can get rid of this ship. Whoa. 
Okay, that'll work. I don't think it's even worth repairing this one. We'll get a better one pretty soon. But I like this speed that we got going here. Well, I'm faster than all the rest with our skill at navigation. Ooh, look at that ship right there. That is a big ship. A war galleon. Alright. They have almost a hundred more crew than holy crap, that's a lot of cannons. And they somehow managed to miss every single shot. I wonder what type of feather this guy's got. Oh, please don't hit me. Alright. Grab our rap here. He's got the two red feathers. Alright, we did it! This giant ship is ours! We got a set of triplets here. Your courage has impressed the enemy. An eager group of 19 sailors volunteered to join your crew of 83. Alright, we can always use some more people. Got a lot of food. And war galleons, I'd say, are pretty valuable, so we're gonna take that. Ooh, look at that pirate hunter. A fast galleon. Those are some good ships right there. Oh, I heard a little bit. Alright, let's get him. Take him from behind! Woo! He almost got us there. And what type of feather does he have? The two red ones. Okay. I guess, I think the two red ones are to mark that uh, the captain is related to their military. And a green feather represents that he's a commercial captain. Your courage has impressed the enemy. An eagle group of 11 sailors volunteer to join your crew of 94. Alright, we can do that. Got quite a lot of food here. We'll take that. Well, let's let the Spanish cool off a little bit. We are sailing directly against the wind. Making some pretty good speed. Ten knots. Normally going against the wind you'd get around six if you didn't have navigation. And keep in mind our ship has some pretty damaged sails. But oh boy we got some prizes. Did you see that ghost ship right there? That was, that was really freaky. There was like a ship of the line and then it just disappeared. Did that just sink? I think we just witnessed something we should probably report to the governor. Let's go to Nevis and dance with that beautiful daughter of his. Where is Nevis? Is this it right here? There we go. My dear Mr. Garchompers, please come in. As you know, we are at war with the evil Spanish and the slimy French now. Okay. I understand that you recently captured a Spanish fast galleon and you captured a Spanish war galleon. Excellent. The king will be pleased. In recognition of your service to the English crown, I am pleased to promote you to the rank of captain. Congratulations. All right. We got our shoulder pads now. As a result, crew recruiting will be easier in English ports. I'm also pleased to grant you an estate of 100 acres on the outskirts of town. Ooh. 
Simmons. Oh, look at the jiggle physics on that one, huh? The governor's beautiful daughter enters the room. Hi, Mr. Godchampers. You're quite a handsome young ruffian. Perhaps when you've achieved the rank of Baron, you can escort me to the Grand Ball. All right, so our shoulder pads aren't quite good enough for her. She's a little bit of a classier lady than that. So we're going to have to come back another time and dance with the governor's daughter. All right, I'll see you all next time on Sid Meier's Pirates. <laughs>